Jane Shaina Valerosa, third year college student in bachelor of physical education. And for today's video, I am going to discuss a different approach to school curriculum. So what is curriculum? Curriculum can be approached or seen in three ways. It, it can be defined as a content, a process, or an outcome. If you examine the defined as a content, a process, or an outcome. If you examine the definitions provided by experts in the field, there are three ways of approaching a curriculum. First is to approach it as a content or body of the knowledge to be transmitted. Second is to approach it as a product or the learning outcomes desired of the learners. Third is to approach it as a process or what actually happens in the classroom when the curriculum is practiced. So that is curriculum. So first approach is the curriculum as a content or body of knowledge. It is a quite common for traditionalists to equate a curriculum to a topic outline subject matter or concepts to be included in the syllables or uh, books. For example, a primary school mathematics curriculum consists of topics on addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, distance, weight, and many more. So that is the curriculum of mathematics. So another example is the secondary school science that involves the study of biological science, physical science, and environmental science, and earth science. So in curriculum as a content is a topic or the body of the knowledge or the topic of the lesson. If curriculum is equated as content, then the focus will be the body of knowledge to be transmitted to students using appropriate teaching method. There can be a likelihood that teaching will be limited to the accusation or facts, concepts, and principles of the subject matter. However, the content or the subject matter can also be taken as the means to the end. So that is the curriculum as a content. The second curriculum is the curriculum as a process. Curriculum as a process. We have seen that the curriculum can be approached as a content. On the other hand, it can be also approach as a process. Here, curriculum is not seen as physical thing or a noun, but as a verb or an action. It is the interaction among the teachers, students, and content. A process curriculum happens into classrooms as the questions asked by the teacher are, and the learning activity engaged in by the students. It is an active process with emphasis on a context in which the process occur using or used in analogy as a recipe in cookbook. A recipe is the content while the cooking or the ways of cooking is the process. Curriculum is a process is seen as a scheme about the practice of teaching. It is not a package of materials or a syllabus of content to be covered. The classroom is only part of the learning environment where the teacher plays action using the content to achieve an outcome. Hence, the process of teaching and learning becomes a central concern of teachers to emphasize critical thinking, heads-on, hands-on learning, and many others. So curriculum as a process is where you, how to teach the student. For example, uh, a teacher is demonstrating an exercise which uh, it is all about physical fitness. So, the exercise is the content and the ways of physical fitness is the process. So, here in curriculum as a process has a guide, guiding principle. So, first is the curriculum process in the form of teaching methods or strategies or means to achieve the end. Two, 
there are no single best process or method, its effectiveness will depend on the desired learning outcomes, the learner's support materials, and the teacher. Three is the curriculum process should stimulate the learner's desire to develop the cognitive, affective, psychomotor domains in each individual. Four is the choice of methods, learning, and teaching styles should be considered. Five is every method of process should result to learning outcomes which can be uh, described or described as cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. Six is flexibility in the use of the process or method should be considered. An effective process will always result to learning outcomes. So last is the both teaching and learning are two important process in the implementation of the curriculum. So those are the guidelines or the guiding principles of curriculum as a process. Next is the curriculum as a product. Besides viewing curriculum as content that is be transmitted or process that gives an action using the content, it has also been viewed as a product. In other words, product is what the students desire to achieve as learning outcomes. So the product from curriculum is a student equipped with the knowledge, skills, and values to function effectively and efficiently. The real purpose of education is to bring about significant changes in the student's pattern of behavior. It is important that any statement of objectives or intended learning outcomes of school should be a statement of changes to take place in the students. Central to the approach is the formation of behavioral observed stated as intended learning outcomes or desired products so that the content and the teaching methods may be organized and the results evaluated. Products of learning are rationalized as knowledge, skills, and values. So curriculum product is expected in the form of outcomes which are referred to as the chief learning outcomes. There may be several desired learning outcomes, but if the process is not successful, then no learning outcomes will be achieved. This learn are or this learn or achieve learning outcomes are the uh, demonstrated by a person who has meaningful experience in the curriculum. All of these are the result planning content and process in the curriculum. So in curriculum product, it is a product that the teach uh, the students learning outcomes or the result or the performance of the students. So that is the curriculum product. So if you want to be a teacher, you need to prepare yourself uh, by using the three approaches of curriculum, which is the curriculum as a content, the body of the knowledge, the and next is the curriculum as a process, the actions or the relationship between the teachers and students, uh, next is the curriculum as the product, the learning outcomes of the student, or the result of the performance. So that is the uh, different approaches of school curriculum. So that's all for today's video and thank you for listening and see you in my next video.